I'm Greg Adeline in the First Alert News Center with a look at today's top stories, the top five stories on WISTV.com. At number five, a really interesting story here because it revolves around cicadas, but probably not in a way that you're used to. An upstate man has an odd taste for cicadas. Josh Wicker invited several friends over to his house for a meal that included cicadas in a blanket, bacon wrapped cicadas, fish fried cicadas, and praline coated cicadas. He says that the reactions were overwhelmingly positive and Wicker hopes that others will try cicadas, but warns that anyone with a shellfish allergy should not taste the insects as they contain the same protein that causes an allergic reaction. At number four, the Goodyear blimp was spotted over Lake Murray on Monday morning. This photo from a WIS viewer. The blimp was most recently in Darlington for the NASCAR Goodyear 400 at the Darlington Motor Speedway. The Goodyear blimp is an icon in the world of television and sports, mainly used for advertising purposes, as well as capturing aerial footage of live sports for broadcasting. Coming in at number three in Lexington, a traffic alert on Monday as the Lexington Police Department said a single car crash caused a power pole to snap on Pilgrim Church Road. No information about the driver's identity has been released. Detours were set up at North Lake Drive and Cherokee Trail. At around 10 a.m., LPD announced that the scene had been cleared and that the road had reopened. We will be right back with a look at your top stories after this brief announcement. Championship by the Gamecocks. They had a victory parade down Main Street to the State House. An estimated crowd of 40,000 people were on hand. Young, old, black, white, so many folks coming together to celebrate a great sports accomplishment. WIS 10 connection happens here. Welcome back to today's top stories at number two, a story out of Sumter as the Sumter Police Department is investigating after a woman was found shot in her home. All of this happening Monday morning. She was shot and killed as police were called around 7.45 a.m. They received a call from the woman's family member saying that she was found unresponsive inside a home on Carroll Drive. The woman was identified as 25-year-old Kira Tatanya Walker, who police said was already a mother of two. Sumter County Coroner Robbie Baker said that Walker was five months pregnant and was shot multiple times. Police say Walker's two children were not home at the time of the shooting. An autopsy has been scheduled for later this week. Police said that they consider the incident to be isolated and was likely carried out during the early morning hours by someone that Walker knows. And coming in at number one, homeowners in South Carolina say their new homes built by D.R. Horton are practically falling apart. In April of 2022, Dave Preston and his wife moved into their D.R. Horton home, but they said that everything was horrific with toilets backing up, outlets not working, and parts of the home unfinished. Preston said that the home was, in his words, horrendous and accused the builder of trying to do too much too fast. Other homeowners reported similar problems in a report from our sister station, WCSC. DR Horton has been building new housing developments throughout the low country, but as demand for more subdivisions grows, homeowners say that they're finding more problems with those homes. DR Horton responded to the report with this following statement saying, quote, DR Horton is committed to providing quality customer service in the greater Charleston area and across the country. We're not aware of any outstanding warranty items at the addresses you referenced, and we encourage any homeowner with a concern to contact our local division directly at Charleston Warranty at drhorton.com. For all the very latest news, weather, and sports anytime, day or night, 24-7, head to wistv.com. I'm Greg Adeline in the First Alert News Center.